Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Lucier, your host for the Collaboration Space brought to you by AVI SPL. And today I am being joined by Steve Cooperman from Canon. Hi Steve. Hey Nancy, how you doing? I'm doing great. I appreciate you joining me today. Thanks, thanks for having me. You're welcome. And Steve, we were going to chat today um, a little bit about Canon, and I'm wondering if we could start off with you sharing a little bit about Canon's history that kind of led to the involvement in things like unified communications and lecture halls and government needs and anything that really needs high-end video. Yeah, sure. Uh, great question. Uh, obviously, uh, Canon has a long history in network security cameras as well as long histories in professional optics and cinema cameras. And so those categories and technology led to the birth of our PTZ lineup or pan tilt zoom lineup. And as we've seen now, we, we introduced this earlier this year and started shipping a few months ago. Uh, these products have now started to make their way into unified communication and uh, you know corporations as well as lecture halls and schools and meeting rooms and, and government facilities. Great, and we mentioned unified communication, so we kind of know we need some IP connectivity. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, the cool thing about the PTZs is they have uh, multiple types of connectivity and beyond IP connectivity, you know, streaming and, and control, and we talk about that a little bit more, and USB connectivity, which also allows it to uh, be put onto Teams, for example. Uh, there's also broadcast quality video connectivity with uh, SDI outputs and HDMI. And as we know, some systems actually do take, uh, some, some of the unified communication systems do take traditional video connections where they encode it to put them on the system or take the video to put into the uh, AV space in the meeting room, such as on a projector or a display or you know, to the switcher to go somewhere else. Great, and I, I heard PTZ a few times. Can you talk a little bit more about what that is? Yeah, PTZ, that's you know the acronym for uh, Pan Tilt Zoom Camera, and that's our professional camera lineup. Uh, when you're in a meeting room, you'll often see a, you know, a little camera by the, you know, the display on the wall or whatnot, and that's, that's a type of PTZ. But what we're talking about is a professional camera. So not only are we uh, working with, with customers and you know, integrators like, like yourself in these meeting rooms and lecture halls, but these same types of cameras offer professional video quality where they're being used for news and professional sports and live events and those type of other applications. Great. And I, I'm thinking that if I'm the remote user, right, um, connecting to a meeting remotely, then that pan tilt zoom can kind of help me see everybody in the room. Yeah, exactly. I mean, one of the cool things about a pan tilt zoom camera, whether I, you know, I mentioned sports before or a meeting room is it, it allows a robotic control to, you know, pan from side to side and tilt up and down and whatnot. And so in a meeting room environment, obviously, depending on the size, a uh, small room, you might have one, but a, a large corporate meeting room or government facility, you could have two, three, four or more of these cameras that are aligned in different places, you know, at, uh, at eye level or from the ceiling or in the corners. And because of the connectivity we talked about, uh, as well as, you know, the IP connectivity we talked about, really allows an easier setup. You know, not only, and in some situations, people will use a single cable solution in this scenario where they get their control and their content and their power all over a LAN cable. So it opens up a lot of uh, flexibility and usage as well as the uh, setup of the equipment. Great. Sounds like it's, it's very versatile. I'm thinking also, Steve, what if, you know, say my board of directors or another department wants to stream a meeting live, either to the public or, you know, inside the company to other departments? How can that work? Yeah, sure. Great question. Um, you know, I mentioned earlier the uh, multiple types of connectivity, including IP. And, and, and to further break that down, it offers uh, multiple streaming protocols, including RTMP streaming. And that allows you to put it on social sites like Facebook Live or YouTube. So, for instance, you could just send a live stream right from wherever you are to one of those sites. Um, but if you need more than that, you know, more than just the pretty video the camera's putting out, um, the camera also offers out of the box NDI HX. And uh, NDI is obviously it's a you know big growing platform that allows for uh, 
you know, production over a network. Customers sometimes will use uh, uh, TriCasters or vMix or whatnot. But what that allows you to do is take that same signal, but maybe somebody is then editing it on, on, on a device and then taking that stream and again, putting it out to uh, the appropriate social site. Or maybe streaming it to another building or another campus. The, the key point is because of the IP, regardless of the, the particular protocol, it does give you a lot of flexibility because not all of your rooms are going to have signal connectivity with traditional video signal. And with the IP, including a one cable solution, you can literally connect that pan tilt zoom camera, including control and the, the video over the network and the power if, if you want to. So it gives yeah. you different sort of uh, flexibility uh, for what you might be doing. And in a corporate environment, you can even mix and match it with other Canon type cameras. If you're again, producing a training video or a video for the stockholders, for example. Sounds great. Sounds like, you know, PTZ can be used in a lot of different situations. So a very versatile solution for everybody. Yep, definitely. Great. Well, Steve, I want to thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much, Nancy. You're welcome. And I want to thank all of our listeners as well, of course. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at AVI SPL Info to see all of our video podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, you can also subscribe on your favorite podcast app. Thanks again for joining us, and I'll see you next time in the collaboration space. For more information, visit AVISPL.com slash canon.